Okay, so it's another night here in the shop and um, if you look real close there you can see that that supercharger is leaking so it's leaking out coming down here getting in behind the snout and then spinning out all over everywhere so um, you can see some there it's some on the intake right there so got to kind of get it taken care of so um, it actually has been pretty recently rebuilt like um, less than two years ago it was rebuilt um, so kind of a bummer but that's just the way it goes so I'm going to take the belt off and pull the snout off and reseal it with some Loctite 515 which is an anaerobic sealant and I hope that does the trick of uh, keeping the fluid in this thing. Okay, so I got all the bolts out of the snout all the way around, got the drain plug out, of course, and uh, you can see it's been leaking here too, down the side, that was all kind of covered up, so um, yeah, it's uh, probably due for that. So uh, we'll see if there's any fluid in there, I'll suck it out and then I'll, I'll get the snout pulled off here. Okay, so we got the uh, snout off here. Um, it rolls fine, everything seems okay. So I'm gonna clean off this flange, get everything uh, looking spotless again. And then same with the um, face of the blower. And then I'll apply my sealant and throw it back on there. So um, hopefully we seal it up good enough that there isn't any issues. So um, do some cleaning now. Okay, we got the, uh, the snout mating surface all cleaned up, got it all scotch brighted down so that uh, it's smooth and free of any yuck on there, so we'll do that to the case now. Okay, so we got the case all cleaned up, scotch brighted and, and uh, looking all sweet and smooth. So we're going to take um, some Loctite 515 and put that on the... Um, snout and then place it up there. I'm going to try and be a little bit sparing because I don't, I don't want it to be, you know, everywhere. Okay, so the uh, blower snout is all coated with this Loctite 515 and so I'm going to try and plant it on there. Um, I'm try I tried to use, you know, not a ton of this stuff because uh, I just didn't want to make a goopy mess. Alright, so I got that slap back on there and we didn't make that big of a mess. I'm going to wipe up the extra, but I think that was about the perfect amount. Gushed out just a little bit all the way around. So we'll clean up. I still got some oil right there. We'll clean up a little bit and start putting this thing back together.
Okay, so I got the belt back on real quick. And then uh, also the, re the reason if you're wondering why I didn't take the plenum off is when this came back from porting, um, the plenum was ported as well. So they basically um, used the same type of sealant to bolt the um, plenum on so it doesn't have a gasket like what a normal lightning would have in between the plenum and the supercharger. So I just leave those together. Now they're, they're kind of permanently mated if I can at all help it. So that's what we got, got going on there. Um, I got my IAC hose back on, cruise control, throttle cable, everything's back on there. So i um, plugged in all my... Uh, hoses and everything so the only thing I have to do is let that uh, cure and then I'm gonna put the um, fluid in it probably tomorrow and then uh, also uh, I'm gonna put my coolant reservoir back on there intercooler reservoir back on there and uh, yeah we should be good to go getting getting real close here okay so it's uh, the next night here and I got my help with me here and uh, he's gonna go cruise around but Anyway, I'm back to just fill the reservoir. I got everything put back together and looking right. So um, what you use is this 10-4041 uh, um, supercharger oil. It's like for all the, similar to uh, what they put in the GM, like the M90 on like a Regal or a Pontiac or a Monte Carlo. So um, anyway, shout out to uh, Debt Life Projects. Uh, he had this in his video so that was a nice deal to be cheaper than uh, than the regular stuff so that was a tip from his video but anyway um, check him out if you haven't already so I'm uh, gonna fill it up and uh, get this baby going and uh, get him to bed he's already in his pajamas so we, we gotta hurry up All right, well, just like that, we got her filled up. Got my cap put back on there, and so you fill it until basically when you it, it, you can't get any more in there. And so um, that's where that's at. Also, it takes about uh, I would say oh, probably one of these plus just a dribble of the next one. So probably really just one, and I spilled a little bit or didn't get it all out of the out of the can or out of the bottle here. So um, anyway, that's a uh, it was at this moment that he knew he put rear end friction modifier into his supercharger. Mm -hmm. 